Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, my presentation involves uh, the mapping uh, special name entities uh, recognition from noisy OCR output, and uh, we elaborate a tool named Epimete, and it's a tool for the um, literary researcher uh, who don't understand nothing in uh, computer science. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, the first question we ask um, when we start uh, our work, it's how to assess the quality of uh, the near result uh, on noisy OCR corpora, and uh, we manage uh, <coughs> some evaluation, uh, and we use uh, LTEC, it's uh, for the corpus, we use LTEC, it's a European literary text uh, collection. Uh, we use the uh, corpus in French, the, the French collection of uh, no novels, and uh, we use it as a reference, and we use Kraken and Tessarat for create our uh, OCR version. Um, and we do some manual evaluation, but uh, also automatic evaluation, but I don't describe uh, this part of my work uh, today. Uh, just we have noticed uh, that we, uh, that the OCR provoke uh, some um, misspelling and all the misspelling have not the same importance. Um, for example, uh, you can see uh, uh, Godaville, it's a little town in France, and Kraken uh, proposed uh, Godaville with an D or Glodaville uh, with an L. And it's uh, really it's a big difficulty for the machine to align um, Godaville and Godaville. And uh, that's why on our evaluation, we have uh, uh, often uh, bad uh, results because it's really difficult to put together this kind of uh, uh, name entity. Okay, uh, we <laughs> try a lot of strategy and we adopt uh, two family uh, strategy. Uh, we, we adopt the strategy for, uh, of the combination of uh, several name entity recognition tools. Uh, and I explain uh, after. And the second strategy is the disambiguating um, the name entities with uh, clusters and uh, with a similarity metric. Uh, okay, Epimete, this slide is just for present you uh, the workflow of Epimete because it's an end-to-end -to -end, uh, tool. Uh, you, the user uh, give uh, the, the PDF or the JPEG, uh, the images of, uh, of, his, uh, of their text, and uh, you can use uh, Tesseract, uh, and after uh, the name entity recognition with the two or three uh, name entities uh, rec recognition tools. And after uh, the, the two, uh, Epimete do the geolocalization and um, chart on the map uh, the results. And after propose uh, the clusters. And uh, finally, you have a map. Uh, on this map, you can see uh, the blue point is uh, for spacey results, for example. The red point is for uh, flare results. And the, yellow, the violet point is for the, uh, the result of the, uh, of the combination of the two uh, natures. Okay, uh, on this map is just for um, explain uh, why the combination of the natural is, uh, results is a good way for filtered uh, the result of the entity recognition. Uh, on the figure A and the figure B, you have uh, the entity recognition for the reference, and on the figure C and the figure T, you have the entity recognition for the OCR version. The figure e, uh, A and the figure C 
um, show uh, the result before we filter the result. And the figure B and the figure D represent uh, the result uh, after we filter manually uh, the result. Uh, you can see uh, on the figure B and the figure D, uh, we keep a lot of point uh, red and dark green, and it's a point who represent uh, the result for a main entity who are recognized by a uh, two or three uh, main entity recognition tool. And on the figure, and you can see that the point uh, yellow and uh, gray disappear on this map. Uh, because the, this is a linear result for just uh, one, one hour, sorry, uh, just uh, found by uh, just one main entity recognition tool. And it's really often false positives. And when a main entity is recognized by uh, two or three main entities recognition tool, it's really often a true positive main uh, entities. Uh, this is uh, an, in, in, an example for a low quality OCR. The character error rate was uh, 0 0.14. And we have another result with an high quality OCR, with an OCR really better. And we have the same behavior. A lot of point yellow and uh, gray disappear, and we keep the red and the dark green points. Okay, uh, this is for explaining the clustering. Uh, the example I, pre I show you today, it's really our best example, <laughs> because you can see uh, on the reference we find Montparnasse and we group uh, Montparnasse, Boulevard Montparnasse, uh, Théâtre Montparnasse, and uh, we have the same cluster for Kraken and Tesseract. Uh, and it really, really is the best uh, results because sometimes we have other results of other clustering uh, where the centroid is not a uh, true positive, is not a main entity, but in the group you have a main entity. Uh, and sometimes we have an uh, ambiguous uh, main entity. Um, and uh, we have uh, a lot of work to. <laughs> Uh, improve uh, this uh, this uh, step, but uh, it's for us really a good uh, surprise when we <laughs> use uh, this tool. Um, for the user, we implement a solution for filtered uh, the result uh, direct directly on the interface of APMT. Uh, you can see on the figure A. Uh, the clustering just be, just after the, the running of the APMT tool. Uh, and you can notice that uh, in the cluster um, Marlin-Val, you have also uh, Marlin, uh, Marlin you have also Marlin-Val, and in the cluster of Saint-Brunel, you have also Saint and Saint-Quentin. Uh, in the figure B, uh, I, I show us uh, af uh, after the filtering by the user, and you can notice that uh, Marlincourt, uh, the cluster uh, Marlincourt comport, uh, <laughs> have um, Marlincourt with an L or Marlincourt uh, with an L at the end of the word, and uh, Marlinval and Saint-Quentin and Saint are out of the cluster. And after the manipulation, the user can download uh, the data in a CSV file. Uh, in the CSV, the user can find the main entity, uh, the geolocalization, uh, the, the name of the main entity tools, uh, and uh, the cluster and the centroid. And uh, you can also um, uh, have the cluster uh, after you filter uh, you filter uh, the, the cluster. 
Okay, uh, our contribution is really to do an, uh, tool, uh, an end to an end-to-end uh, workflow, uh, and this workflow is uh, integrated in Pandora Toolbox. It's uh, the toolbox uh, created by the Optic team. Uh, and um, this uh, contribution uh, uh, show that the, it's possible to have an end-to-end -end, uh, workflow with uh, OCR, NAR, and MAP. Uh, we 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 hope that we can uh, improve the clustering and uh, we can find other uh, interactive uh, field filtering tools uh, for the user and uh, we are really happy to to do that the outputs are, are reusable um, because we thought that um, the human can deal with noise and we, we with our human gaze we can clean the noise it's possible so the really question is uh, what about silence okay <laughs> And um, and you, I can show you today because it's really, really too long uh, all the work uh, with uh, evaluation. But uh, I can show you a little part of uh, the manual evaluation we do of the clustering and uh, the observation of the borderline case. Um, our, our perspective are uh, we want to improve the automatization of the cluster. Um, we want to improve to the geolocalization. And uh, we want to uh, evaluate uh, the tool for other languages and particularly for uh, low resource languages like uh, Portuguese, for example. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>